guys, welcome back to my channel. This is The Skin Enthusiast, and today's video is going to be another test and testimonials. Um, I've got two products in this video that we'll be reviewing. Uh, they're both eye creams. One is an eye product that one of my subscribers reviewed, and another one is one that I tested for 30 days and reviewed. They are uh, the Alpha H Eye and Lip Treatment and the Grown Alchemist Age Repair Eye Cream. So um, yeah, before we dive in, I just want to say that it feels good to be back filming. I haven't filmed for a few weeks because the weather in LA has been so hot that me and my neighbors have been out in the pool pretty much in all of our spare time. We bought a bunch of floaties from Target. We got the cupcake. We got the rainbow Pegasus unicorn that has been dubbed Peggy. And we also got a creamsicle floaty and they've been we've been doing nothing but hanging out on the floaties and eating chip and salsa so sorry this video is kind of a long time coming but i'm really excited to bring it to you eye creams are um are one of the products that i'm constantly trying i'm constantly looking for the best eye cream out there um so i'm excited to uh share these reviews with you tonight first up is Brittany. like i said she tried out the alpha hi um, and lip uh, treatment and her review is coming up so check out what she thought hey guys so I am helping Lauren from the skin enthusiast do a review that she um, so graciously sent me a product that's the age um, it's the alpha age delay intense eye and lip treatment cream with hibiscus and rosehip and this is it um, it comes with a little pumper um, the claims is that it's supposed to smooth away fine lines and wrinkles while conditioning and hydrating the skin um, the first thing I have to say is kind of negative about it um, the pumper actually always got clogged so I'd have to like unscrew the cap to get the product out as for like the results of the product, I liked it best on my lips. I really noticed a big difference, but I wasn't using it on my lips all the time. But I did notice the best results from my lips rather than my eyes. Um, and then in my opinion, for the price point of this, I don't really specifically remember what it was, but I definitely know it wasn't cheap. Um, I probably wouldn't buy that just for my lips. As for, for my eyes, I'd say it, I probably noticed a little bit of a difference. I mean, mainly with my like makeup wear, I noticed that my makeup didn't get into my fine lines quite as much, but overall I didn't really see that much of a difference between what my normal eye cream was compared to this. Um, I did notice that it was very hydrating, so it was a very nice eye cream, but it just didn't really do that much for me. Um, so I hope this helped and I hope Lauren's review helps and yeah, I really appreciate Lauren asking me to do this. Thanks So Brittany wasn't crazy about it. It sounds like it sat well under her makeup that it worked well as a lip treatment but an expensive one at that and that she probably wouldn't repurchase it because the applicator the the pump was always getting clogged and she told me about that pretty much as soon as she started using it um, so that's kind of a downer um, but next up, we have my review uh, of the Grown Alchemist Age Repair Eye Cream. So uh, the reason I chose this eye cream um, to test out is that it's a green product um, and I hadn't seen um, peptides advertised as an anti-aging ingredient before, so I did some research on it and there's some evidence to suggest that um, there's lots of, obviously, there's tons of different peptides out there but there's a peptide in this formula that's um, targeted to diminish the appearance of dark circles under your eyes. And there's also another peptide, the um, tetrapeptide 5, that is meant to trick your skin into thinking it needs to heal. So cell turnover increases uh, and uh, the production of collagen is boosted so your uh, fine lines and wrinkles look less prominent. They look more filled in. Um, so yeah, I, I really liked this eye cream. I actually really liked the, um, the packaging, the fact that it's in a pump. It dispensed the perfect amount for both eyes, both under eyes. Um, it came with a little 
cap to make sure that it didn't um, that it didn't spill out when you're traveling. Um, it's a decent price. It's not the cheapest eye cream out there, and it doesn't contain any actives like retinol in it, um, which is good if you have very sensitive skin or if you want to use it during the daytime. Uh, because as a reminder, you should not. Uh, if you're using retinol during the daytime, you need to be really religious about your sunscreen or you could be putting your skin at greater risk for sun damage. So um, this eye cream, it's a decent price. I got it at Enema Beauty and uh, I would probably repurchase, maybe not right away because like I said, I'm constantly looking for the next eye cream and this one didn't, um, over the 30 days, you can see my before and after, it didn't uh, really change the appearance of my fine lines and wrinkles or my dark circles as compared to the Bobbi Brown eye cream that I was using a lot. Um, it's uh, around the same price. I um, Again, I like the packaging a lot more than eye creams that come in pots, um, so that was a plus. Um, yeah, so it was a good eye cream. It just didn't blow me away and I'll probably try something else. However, I really did like it. There was no unpleasant scent to it. It applied well, it wore well under makeup. Absolutely no complaints against this eye cream. Um, just didn't blow me away. I was really happy to do this review. I hope you guys liked it and I hope you guys appreciated Brittany's review as well. You know, not everything is gonna be a home run, but that's why we do this. And that's why I wanted to share these, um, even though they weren't um, home runs. And it's actually, especially because they weren't home runs, because sometimes I feel like, um, reviews that aren't stellar 100% positive are just as important to share as the ones that are, you know, as superstar products. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys so much for tuning in and watching. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video if you want to see more tests and testimonials. And I also want to use this opportunity to put out a call to anyone who wants to participate to be um, you know, to do a test and testimonials. The reason I started this series is because I have very dry skin, but I didn't want this to be a vlog just about products for dry skin. I want this to be about skincare. Um, so I have been eliciting uh, some of my subscribers to test out products um, that, uh, that I wouldn't necessarily see the benefit from, it's particularly products for um, oily skin, congested skin, or acneic skin. So if you, um, if you would like to, I have actually a couple of products waiting in the wings. I'm just waiting for someone to tell me that they wanna participate. Um, so please uh, direct message me on my Instagram. Let me know you wanna do a TNT and let me know what your skin type is. So uh, yeah, that's it. That's my plug. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you have a great week. Bye.